How's it going guys? In this video we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Nosferatu Ultimate Action Figure based off of the 1922 silent film of the same name directed by F.W. Murnau and starring the absolutely creepy Max Shrek. I have to say I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this film uh, so I'm super excited to finally have this in my collection. When NECA had uh, first announced it I jumped on the pre-order right away. I did receive this guy from the last toy store uh, again, uh, not affiliated with them or anything like that, but uh, definitely check them out because they're really cool people and they've always uh, had my back when it comes to like pre-orders and stuff like that. So I'll leave a link in the description to their website. Uh, but beyond that, let's go ahead and get a quick look around the box. We'll get them opened up and get a better look at the figure. So for starters, guys, I have to say, love the box art for this. Uh, absolutely amazing work that NECA did for this uh I mean, just for this release, man, I mean, looking at this box, uh, really, really good stuff. On the side, we have a photo shot of the figure, NECA Real Toys, Nosferatu logo at the top, on the back, several other photo shots of the figure. Once again, Nosferatu, a symphony of horror, and uh, yeah, just absolutely incredible, guys. Got another photo shot of the figure, Nosferatu logo, NECA Real Toys, so... Go ahead and full profile shot of the figure there. And then there's the figure in all its glory, guys. So, uh, like I said, super excited to get this guy opened up. So let's get right to it. Get him opened up and get a better look at the figure. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, for starters, I have to say Count Warlock turned out absolutely incredible. I uh, love the sculpt on this. I uh, love the coloring. Um, NECA killed it with this release for sure. I love the detail in this guy. Looks absolutely incredible. Pretty spot on uh, to Count Orlock in the film. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, let's just get right to it, guys. Uh, unfortunately, the head doesn't have the full rotation. Uh, it can. The only thing is the um, collar on the coat hinders that movement. But you can look down pretty well. Can't really look up too well just because, again, because of the top collar there. Uh, he does have a nice side to side sort of uh, head tilt and you can get some pretty decent uh, looks out of him. Really, really creepy guys. Uh, really, really solid, solid sculpt. I mean, I just, man, the head sculpt looks absolutely incredible. As with the arms, arm does come up 90 degrees and does rotate all the way around. There is a single joint in the elbow. Elbow feels like it could rotate all the way around. I'm not going to force it because uh, it does feel kind of stiff. Hand does rotate all the way around. Does have a nice side to side swivel. Other arm, same thing. Does rotate all the way around. Does have, cut, does come up 90 degrees. Again, has a single joint in the elbow. Again, I feel like it could rotate at the elbow. The only thing is it just feels stiff. Again, guys, fresh out of the box, so I really don't want to force it. Hand does rotate all the way around and does have a nice back and forth swivel at the wrist. So as for, unfortunately guys, as for torso articulation, doesn't feel like he does have too much articulation uh, like rotating or anything, more than likely because of the way the coat is uh, molded to him. Uh, but I have to say the coat itself, absolutely gorgeous. I love the sculpt of this, the wrinkles, the little buttons there and the buttons here. I don't know if the camera does it justice or picks it up, but it's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, doesn't have too much of a crunch forward and not too much back. Uh, as for the leg articulation, again, um, legs are kind of hindered by the coat. So it does come back not too much, has a single joint in the knee. Feels like he has rotation at the knee, but I don't want to force it. Uh, foot does come forward a little bit, but again, guys, the coat kind of hinders that movement. The, um, as for the foot articulation, foot does rotate all the way around. Does have a nice side to side swivel. Doesn't really have too much uh, in the way of going back and forth. Uh, as for the other leg, same thing. Uh, does come up not too much. Doesn't go back all that much either. Does have a single joint in the knee. Does have rotation at the knee it feels like, but a little stiff again guys. Uh, full rotation of the foot. Foot does have a nice side to side swivel. And once again, feels like the foot doesn't have too much 
back and forth play. So uh, let's go ahead and get him off to the side, guys, and get a better look at his accessories. As for his accessories, guys, he comes with six extra pairs of hands. So two of his hands, for starters, are gripping hands for the accessories. And I have to say, I really love the detail on these. I uh, love the coloring. Uh, the nails look really, really good. Uh, the veins there, you can see that. The wrinkles on the hands, just the mold of these are absolutely incredible. Really, really solid. The next set of hands, he has a more of a uh, gripping hand or a closed grip hand, but it's still, you can fit one of the accessories in there and uh, a open hand, almost like a open gripped hand or a gestured hand. Really, really solid. Again, guys, I love the detail on this. NECA really, really knocked it out of the park so far with this figure. And now the last set of hands, guys, he comes with the really long fingernails, uh, gestured hands. And I have to say, these are absolutely incredible. I love the coloring on these again. I love the long fingernails. They look really, really prominent on the veins there. Uh, just the overall detail on these are really, really solid. If I was going to pose him out of the box, I'd probably go with these hands instead of the uh, default hands just because the nails look so great on this. Up next, guys, he comes with a black bottle. Uh, I'm assuming it's like a wine bottle, but the shape of it is uh, very, very cool. I really dig that. Uh, it's a solid piece of plastic. Uh, not too bad. Uh, not much to it. It's a very simple design. But again, if you look at the, the movie itself and all the weird shapes and visuals, this fits right in with that aesthetic for sure. Some other accessories he comes with, guys. He comes with a ink well and a quilt pen, which uh, really, really solid detail on this. I love the coloring on this and the detail there in the feather. Really, really nice. Uh, the other cool thing is you can see there, there's a little hole. So you can actually have it functioning as the inkwell and quill really really nice detail on that guys i'm really glad that nick uh i mean to do the little just to add those little details into stuff like this makes it absolutely incredible and up next guys he comes with a key ring which i don't know if the camera's going to pick this up well enough because these are pretty tiny but i have to say i love the detail on these just because it's a functioning it's an actual functioning chain it's not just plastic i mean the keys are plastic for sure but i mean just the level of detail that NECA puts into just something this small like i said i don't know if the camera picks it up well enough but really really solid detail on this i would be very careful though because they do seem kind of uh kind of flimsy and uh as you can see one of them's kind of bent and warped so again uh, not a deal breaker or anything but i would definitely be very careful with this accessory now I'm next guys to go with the uh, the quill here. Uh, he does actually come with the uh, document that he signs in uh, the film. Now if you've seen the film, you know he's uh, signing, basically he's signing a deed to, uh, to get some property. And I uh, really, really love the detail on this guys. It is a bit of uh, some sort of paper, similar to Elvira Scary Christmas video. Uh, if you haven't, I'll leave a link in the description below. But Elvira had something similar to this where it was like a paper uh, where she's it was her naughty list or something like that. Lastly, guys, he comes with a couple of head sculpts. Uh, the first head sculpt he comes with, uh, he has a sort of a bit of a grin. And again, I have to say the detail on this head sculpt is absolutely incredible. They really captured the uh, Count Orlock's uh, likeness uh, in this coloring i mean everything the, the hair there the bits of hair that he has there and his eyebrows and stuff i mean just look at that face it just totally 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 spot on to count orlock in my opinion and the final head sculpt that he comes with guys he comes with a hat he has more of a somber look or upset look uh, again spot on likeness to count orlock uh, NECA really, really knocked it out of the park with this release, in my opinion. I think this uh, sculpt does look absolutely insane. Like, from the coloring, I mean, just the expression on his face. And not only that, but the hat itself is interchangeable. So, uh, it can either go with this head sculpt or the previous head sculpt that we looked at. You can put it on that one. Or you can even put it on the defaulted head sculpt as well. So, for comparison, guys, I did want to bring in the Bela Lugosi's Dracula figure as well. Uh, just to kind of give you a size comparison, they both pretty much are the same size, and uh, what better way to the original OG <laughs> vampire, I guess, if you want to say, uh, and then the most famous Bela Lugosi Dracula. Again, huge fan of uh, 
both of these films, actually. I'm a huge Universal Monsters fan, as I've said in the past, but I have to say, man, uh, really, really love the Bela Lugosi Dracula, and I really, really love the Count Orlock that we got. NECA, like I said, they killed it with this figure, for sure. That about wraps it up for this video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the figure. Uh, are you a fan of the original 1922 Nosferatu? Uh, it did just celebrate its centennial back in 2022. Uh, so it's over 100 years old now. Uh, there was a remake in 1979, directed by Werner Herzog and starring Klaus Kinski as the uh, as Count Orlock. There is also another remake that's going to be coming out in 2024 and uh, should be interesting to see because it's going to have one of the Skarsgård brothers, the one that played uh, Pennywise in the uh, It Chapter 1 and 2. So we'll see how he does as uh, Count Orlock. When it comes to remakes, I'm not too big on, and I mean... The original is an absolute classic masterpiece. Uh, yes, it's a silent film, it's black and white, uh, but it is definitely one of my favorite vampire movies of all time. It's definitely up there with the original Dracula, Bela Lugosi Dracula. In fact, I really enjoy Nosferatu so much that I was on uh, Pugwall 316's channel doing a live watch along of uh, the film for charity so uh, if you haven't checked that out I will leave a link to that in the description and uh, you can watch the movie the movie itself is in public domain so I mean it's it's out there I have to give a shout out to the Invincible Czars they're a band from Austin that actually goes on the road doing a complete score that they came up with for Nosferatu so uh, if you ever get to check them out on the road i have been to several of their shows and they do an amazing job and they're really cool dudes as well so definitely check them out i'll leave a link to their website in the description as well yeah that guys if you're new to the channel feel free to like share subscribe if you're not new to the channel thanks again for coming back and for the continued support i really really appreciate it seriously guys you guys absolutely rock uh i'm actually as of the recording of this video i'm 24 subs away from 500 so super excited about that uh again if and when I hit the 500 mark, I will be doing a giveaway. And I believe I gave a preview of that in a previous video. So uh, once I hit the 500 or get closer to it, I will start, you know, showing the giveaway item again more prominently. But so stay tuned for that, guys. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy and have a good one.